project is Tiverton High School's attempt to meet a state mandate for Rhode Island. Um, we're choosing this route rather than choosing the route of Massachusetts, which is the MCAS for the exam. A senior project is something that is going to be worked on throughout the years. You're going to be learning how to do an MLA paper in every year that you're going to be in high school. And your senior year is a senior project that you're going to be looking at at the end of your junior year. You're going to be thinking of a topic. And it's something that you have an interest in something that you have not done before, something that is a stretch that you want to achieve. Um, it's something that promotes student accountability and still encompasses all the skills that are required for the English curriculum. It can be something that is of an interest of yours, could be career, could be a hobby, something of interest. Uh, the project consists of many different phases. Uh, first off, the student needs to choose a topic in which they're interested in, uh, find a mentor, um, and find a topic that's appropriate to the, school, the building itself. Uh, once they've chosen their topic, they go on to do a research paper um, in which they get an opportunity to explore the topic that they're interested in, and this also will help support their final presentation at the end. After that, they have their hours working with their mentor, the portfolio, and then finally the demonstration piece of their presentation that they do at the end of the year. Well, the research component of the project uh, would consist of going up, obviously you've already chosen the topic that you're interested in, but to, trying to decide how you want to pursue that topic. Do you want to find it as an informational piece? Do you want to take a stance on a political issue and try to persuade your audience as to how you feel about a particular issue? Um, once you've decided what it is that you're going to pursue in that piece, You'll go, we'll take you to the library, um, and you'll get a variety of sources, be it internet, books, uh, your mentor, who you can use as an interview source. And then that paper is put together in the MLA format. It's basically a certain area that they research in what they want to do, the interests that they have. They look at a certain angle of it, or they look at a certain component of it, and they can research that and discuss what's going on. Hopefully, while they're doing that first component, they have already been doing some work with their mentor. And then you will continue working with your mentor um, based on the project that you've chosen. And it is here that you'll start collecting the information that you're going to need to present to the judges at the end of the year and also to start compiling information that will go into your portfolio. Now, the portfolio is something that they make up that has their mentor hours, their mentor sign-offs, it has their MLA paper in there, and it has any papers that they had to send to the committee to ask for extensions. They have their first paper on which they are asking that their topic be accepted and they have their parental sign-off sheets that the parents understand what is going on and what they're being held accountable for and how much the project is going to cost them. We are asking that they don't spend any money on the project, but if they do, they have to understand that this is something that we're not asking them to do. It should not cost them anything. The product is ultimately the most important part of senior project. I mean, we want to see not per se a product like, okay, I built a chair, I built a table. Okay, there are some students who are pursuing a product that is physical, that can be touched, that can be shown, that can be demonstrated. But there are still other types of products in which students will go out and do job shows shadowing, find out what it takes to become a teacher, what it takes to become a lawyer, a police officer. Um, <clears throat> you know, the possibilities are endless, okay? So all of these steps, the portfolio, the letter writing, the research, working with your mentor, eventually work to this product, which is your presentation at the end of, end of the school year, in which you present to the judges with the product if you've actually done a final project that's built or be it your product, your experiences.
working with your mentor. Uh, well, it all comes together um, by working on our presentations, um, whether we do it in small bits in classes. I know last year I broke it up um, with my classes, whether we worked on the intro, the conclusion, the body, or even just working on how to handle the visuals that are in your senior project. And putting all that together, all right, encouraging students that they need to practice, encouraging students how to speak properly, formally, letting students know that they need to dress formally, um, make sure that they're prepared, and a lot of the, on the teacher's end of it, is organizing and getting ready for the big day that these kids work very hard for. To keep the audience, the five judges, interested in what they're doing, present it well, have a good tone, have good facial expression, and basically be able to sell their project and what they are doing and have the person interested. And there are five people, usually two are teachers and three are from the community. And they listen to them. And just the ability to speak. Most students have a terrible time with that. And some of them, it's, it's amazing to see how far they've come in just the speaking area, which they're going to need in the real world to be able to talk to their bosses.